Hello and welcome to Matt's Mosh Pit and today I'm going to be checking out Chasing Sunsets by Charlotte Vessels. But before I get started, I just want to say thank you so much for all the love and support you've shown me and my channel so far. It truly means a lot and I could not do this without you. So folks, about three or four weeks ago, I did a reaction to um, the first song by Charlotte Vessels, The Exorcism. And um, I should say first song. It's the first song from her new solo album that's coming out soon. And um, I did, The Exorcism was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And when that song went out, um, this song had actually just dropped. So in the comments, you guys had let me know that this song was better than that song. And so, of course, I have to check it out. And I'm just going to tell you guys ahead of time at the time of recording as luck would have it she dropped another song with a special guest and i am aware of it i assure you that i will definitely be doing a reaction for that song so no need to let me know about that in the comments because it is already on my list and i did have the option it was like the weird choice of like what do you do do you do the one that people are telling me i should listen to or do i just go with the new one but um, I'll be honest with you, I have a weird situation when it comes to doing videos that come out like the day of or within the first couple days. It's It seems this is a little behind the scenes magic, folks. So it seems as if when I do something that's like where the video just dropped, I don't know if it's a label thing or a YouTube thing or or what, but when I go to do a reaction for something that just dropped, Typically, there's more barriers, and it seems like there's a, a barrier from a um, perspective of, like, what countries can see the video, you know, that could be blocked in, you know, all countries except for maybe three, you know, something along those lines. And I don't know if it's whether it's release date or how I don't really know how that works, or it could just be a YouTube thing where they're just letting the, the video breathe. I do know that there are some YouTubers or content creators that are, you know, probably in with the label where the label says, you know, hey, check this out and, you know, we'll give you rights to do it. Um, at this point, I am not that guy. <laughs> so maybe, maybe that's what it is. I, I don't really know. But um, so when it comes to that, I do kind of have to wait a little bit before I can actually do one where you, where everybody can see it. So in this case, you know, given the choice of she just dropped the new song out today, and then this song's been out for a couple weeks, it's safer and easier for me to do this song. But it also makes sense because you guys were the ones that told me I should check this out. So um, just know, I assure you that I will definitely be checking out the other song that came out um, at this point, I really want to check out as much Charlotte Vessel stuff as I can because I really, really enjoyed it. So um, now that I've gone on this huge rant that you guys are probably already bored with, um, let me just go ahead and get right into it. So this is Chasing Sunsets by Charlotte Vessels.
So I definitely dig the groove so far. I think that is fantastic. So it's it's definitely cool. It's one of those, I'd say the video is throwing, throws me off a little bit because um, it's, it's one of those, I have a feeling it's one of those songs where I think the audio, where you're just listening to it, whether it's in your car or in a room, is like so much more intense and, and just awesome. Um, the video is fine. There's nothing really wrong with it except for the fact that I just started watching that show. It's called Alone, and I know there's people from all over the world, and I don't know if you have it on Netflix, but it's um, basically people who have to live in the wilderness. for. It's a competition show, and people are living by themselves and have to create, hunt for food and create their own little huts and all that kind of stuff. So I just did a whole marathon of that. So now every time I see woods and little rodents and stuff, I'm just thinking that's food for somebody in alone. So anyway, so it's probably really just me. It's kind of throwing me off, but, um, no, I like, I'm digging the band, like the band, the song at first, it, I didn't think it was going to, I thought it was going to be more of a mellow song. And then the band kicks in, like the bass lines and everything. It's just awesome. So really, really enjoying this so far. Okay, well, um, before I started this video, I was alluding to another song that she just put out with a special guest. And if you paid attention to the little squares at the end, I guess it gives that one away. But then again, at the time you're watching this, you guys already know the song. Uh, but just know that I will be doing a reaction to that one shortly. Um, but as far as this song goes... Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really, I'm getting to know her voice. And um, so I really do appreciate her voice. And you guys have told me that she was a original member of the band Delane, wh who I still need to check out. Um, you guys have given me a ton of suggestions and I have them on my list and I'm definitely going to check them out. Um, I didn't know if I, like when I was kind of like putting the list together of like, I tend to record these in little batches. And so it was kind of like, you know, my putting too much Charlotte all in one, you know, in one batch or whatever. So I do like to spread them out a little bit just in case, like, you know, if you're one of the people out there that just go, oh, great, another video from so-and-so. So, um, I, you know, I was kind of being thoughtful from that perspective, or at least that was my thought process. So, um, so I do have Delane on my list to check out. 
So, um, but anyway, I do like her voice. Um, and it definitely seems like her band has like an edge to them, which I really like that because it lets me know that like there's times when, you know, if she needs them to just to completely rock out that it can happen. And I love the bass in this song. Like it's one of those things where um, I think one of the issues I have is in a lot of times I don't hear the bass. And I think it's one of the reasons why I love Iron Maiden so much is because I get to act. You can definitely hear, you know, Steve Harris's bass lines. And so anytime I hear a band and you can hear the bass, or at least I can hear the bass, you know, if you have a trained ear and you're a musician, you can probably hear the bass in anything. It's just, you know, normies like me, as they say, who just really can't. When I hear a bass that stands out, it's already a big thumbs up. So I thoroughly enjoyed the song. I do think it's one of the, once again, I do think it's one of those songs that just hearing like the album when it comes out or, you know, in the car or something like that, I think it's probably so much better. Um, so videos are tough these days, you know, it, it, it just, you don't really know there's different things going on and whatnot. And sometimes I just totally embrace the video. And then sometimes it's kind of like, I'd rather have just seen them do it live, you know, or listen to just the audio. But if I listen to just the audio, it's not fun for you guys. <laughs> so, um, the video is what it is. And so anyway, so the video didn't really necessarily do anything for me, but I really, really enjoyed the song, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah. With that being said, folks, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Um, if you have not already, please hit the subscribe button. If you have hit the subscribe button, thank you very much for doing so. And please, please, please share this with your friends, get them to subscribe. Let's see if we can grow this community to a point where maybe I will make friends with some labels where they'll give me these videos up front or something along those lines. And, and honestly, I don't even know if that's what happens, but it's just my experience. But I do think there are, I think I feel like I've heard some reactors who are, you know, much bigger and than this channel that I do think they have relationships with the labels where the labels say, you know, Hey, you know, play this video and we'll let it go in all these different countries. So, um, yeah, it, the more subscriptions, the closer we are to that kind of situation. But anyway, more importantly though, if you didn't do anything, please, please, please leave comments. The comments are amazing. It's where I get to meet you guys and create these relationships. And, you know, there's there's a certain amount of people, and you guys who are watching this, you know who you are, that I feel like we've built friendships. Um, and it's so great. Every time, you know, we'll put out a, a video, I can count on certain people just to leave a comment, you know, good, bad, or ugly, all that kind of good stuff. It's cool because I know that they're out there and they're watching and we, we communicate and all that kind of good stuff. And I just, that is literally my favorite part of this whole thing is meeting you guys. So please, please, please leave comments. But with that being said, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.